learning activities often fall into one of two categories, individual or group assignments. And when it comes to collaborating, there are a few different ways to set up these interactions. It all depends on how you want individuals or groups to work with each other. Let's review these collaboration options now. As there are different parts to the activity setup, the options are divided between two steps, how students work and how they review. And remember, all groups can be directly imported from your LMS, so you don't need to recreate them here. Let's start with the simplest, where students work individually and review individually. This option caters for assignments where students worked by themselves on, for example, a paper or presentation, and you would like individual students to review other students' work. If students work individually but review within groups, then members of the same group will be assigned to each other for review. For example, if a team has worked on a project and group members need to rate each other's performance on collaboration skills. And where students work individually and review outside of their groups, each individual student in the class will be assigned to review a peer who was not part of their group. This is a way to generate feedback on a group's work or skills from students outside of that work group. Next, let's look at the other sort of collaboration where students work as a group. When reviewing work individually, this means students have worked together on some group project and are each required to review another group's overall work or performance. In other words, the reviews are individually assigned so the different students in a group may all review different groups than each other. Lastly, where students work as a group and review as a group, every member of a group will review the same other group. This can be used where groups come together to discuss the work or performance of another group and you want to ensure each group receives reviews from other entire groups. And that's how to set up the different collaboration options after which students can be automatically or manually allocated to their reviewees.